1972, on January 17th, William Henry Furman, a 26-year-old African-American, had broken into a house in Savannah, Georgia. The homeowner, William Mike, discovered Furman's presence and realized Furman was carrying a gun on his person. After concluding he had been caught, Furman tried to run away, but he tripped, accidentally firing the gun. The homeowner, William Joseph Mike, died on the spot. Furman was arrested and booked where he was officially processed. He then had an initial appearance where the judge explained his charges. His charges were burglary and murder. It is now the preliminary trial where the judge will be seeing if there is enough evidence for a trial. Order in the court! Sir, present your case. Your Honor, on January 17th this year, Mr. Furman was reported to be robbing the house of Mr. William Henry Mike. As he was trying to flee the scene, Mr. Furman claims that when he heard Mr. Mike approach him, he turned and shot blindly, killing Mr. Mike in the process. Your Honor, I would like to object. Proceed. When I was fleeing the area, I tripped and fell, which made the gun go off, accidentally killing Mr. Mike. We have evidence that you told us otherwise. Mr. Mike was clearly shot and killed. No gun could have done that without aim. He is still responsible for the murder. You admitted it. Therefore, you're responsible for the death of Mr. Mike. This case may proceed to the grand jury so the people can, die, can decide whether you are guilty or innocent. You may be dismissed. Furman will be facing the grand jury. This requires a selection of 12 citizens that will participate in the jury. Here, Furman will be decided as guilty. There will be assignments presented before the Superior Court where Furman will be decided guilty or innocent. This court date will be held on June 19, 1971. In most cases, the offender would have a jury to judge alongside the deciding judges. The court selects these public jury members by making the list of the possible jurors based on where they are in comparison to the county the court is in. Furman will soon experience this added judgment in his trial at the Supreme Court to make the final decision on how he is to be dealt with.